Good morning, good morning. Do, 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 do. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, welcome to a daily dose of joy. We are here in solidarity to dose our brains, committed, committed to this practice of leveraging neuroscience with these simple habits throughout our day to upgrade the level of positive neurochemistry, increasing our capacity for vibrancy, joy, resiliency, clarity, ease. Go, go, go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So this morning we're going to do whoopsie daisy stories because I have got a couple and I realized I have not been sharing them with y'all. I have have stored up one that is particularly <laughs> rich. <laughs> so, well, and we apparently are going to be accompanied. Um, pardonnez, pardonnez de poupi, de poupi poupai, de poupi poupai, e whiny whiny bye. <laughs> he's like, he's, you know, I have a little ritual where I get this in early in the morning before he wakes, but occasionally, um, Sometimes for a little series of days, he wakes a little earlier and uh, accompanies me. Hmm. Let's see. Babe! Sweetie! All is well! So and that was bad training. I'm not supposed to acknowledge him when he is uh, whimpering in his play area. So, um, hmm. All right. Pardon the distraction. <laughs> I really thought he was settled. Whoopsie daisy. So this is a great whoopsie daisy story from my trip to the beach and getting to be with my little beautiful new nephew who's only three months old and oh, just like, wow. Talk about a joy bullet. I mean, he just laughs and smiles and laughs and smiles and oh boy, do I love him. And so um, there was an outdoor uh, organic farmer's market down at the beach. And so I went with my mom, we walked there and um, you know, it's Florida. So you start out in a little jacket and then you start getting hot and you've got this baby strapped to you. So he's sweating, you're sweating. And I'm like, okay, time for us to peel some layers. So I'm wearing him in a one of these, like a baby Bjorn. It's like a front facing backpack. You stuff the baby in. <laughs> and he just cuddles up to your chest. It's a real soy. But then you can be hands free and you know, that's what we were doing. And the, the tents were on one side of this long kind of like park. And then I was on the other side, kind of my mom would go into the tents, but I was staying real social distance since I had the baby with me. And so she's over there tending to getting stuff for dinner for all of us. And I um, decided it's time to peel off some of these layers. So I unbuckle him and I'm holding him so sweet. And I like get my like wiggle, 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 get my jacket off so I can lay it on the ground. So I have a nice place to just lay the sweet, beautiful child. And so I, I like do this you know, gentle, gentle crest all the way down to the ground and I get him down on there. And then I go to, s <laughs> then I go to start standing up. And as I'm standing, <laughs> I realize that his legs are coming with me. So, so it looks like, looks like we're doing one of those like wheelbarrow races <laughs> You'd like hold somebody by the feet and they run with their hands and you know, like, it's like a wheelbarrow race. I don't know if y'all had those as a kid, but um, it, was, it looked like I was holding him by his feet and he's just down on the ground. And we're just standing there and I realized that there are like extra safety straps around his legs. So I've unbuckled, everything's loose and gone, but there were these, I'd forgotten about these little extra safety straps. So like he's laying there, but his legs come up with me. <laughs> I'm in like, I mean, it was like I was doing a downward dog with a baby strapped half to the front of me. 
put my asses in the air and I've got like one hand and I start laughing and he starts laughing like he's a good laugher but this was almost like a, a toddler laugh it was just long and rolling and he's looking at my face and the more I laugh the more he laughs so now I'm in this downward dog the one hand like supporting myself and the other one And when the two of us laughing this hard, <laughs> and we're just like we're face to face, because <laughs> you're right, his torso is on the ground and his legs are dangling and attached to me about here. <laughs> so we're just face to face. I'm pinning and supporting myself, and I'm digging and rooting around, <laughs> trying to get the safety straps loosened. <laughs> and just. <laughs> butt in the air and just like convulsively laughing because you know it's contagious I'm laughing and then he laughs and then how can you not this cute big brown eyed baby looking up at you going <laughs> I mean it was just sent me into peals of laughter oh my lord <laughs> by the time I got him undone and was writing myself my mom is coming this way the look on her face <laughs> Maybe you had to be there. I don't know. Obviously, it still tickles me. Um, yes, the wheelbarrow race, the downward dog, the laughing faces. It was a, it was a doozy of a whoopsie daisy. And um, let's see. And then I have, I'll try and tell one other little short one. <laughs> Not a short event, but it's a good for showing about turning things around. My dodgy, my little doggy, do. Um, is part apparently like wildebeest and was in the car, had not, it had been a rainy day. He had not gotten a normal amount of exercise and I was maybe, you know, five minutes, 10 minutes, not that long. You know, it's, it's cool. Like he's right in front of where I am. The windows are down. And I'm like, okay, yeah, he can be there for a few minutes while I help my son get his stuff ready. And like I'm multitasking, right? And so um, didn't want him in where we were because he's not, he's close to being fully potty trained, but you know, we haven't proofed that yet in every situation. Come back out to the car and he has eaten the car seat. I mean, complete, not, I don't mean he tore up or he chewed on the seat of my car. He like ate a chunk and dug a chunk out of it. And I was like, <laughs> and, you know, immediately your mind starts calculating, oh, what's the repair cost going to be on that? <laughs> and he's just, there is like foam in his nose. There's foam all over his head, like a headdress. It is everywhere in the car. And he's just looking up with his big eyes and just <gasps> and wagging his tail like, oh, look what I did, Mom. Yay, you're back. The party started. <laughs> and what can I do? But, but laugh and maybe cry a little and laugh. <laughs> because whoopsie daisy, what's done is done. I'm going to be driving like this for a while. <laughs> Believe you me, there was definitely a moment of like, ah, you know, like, no. But then I was able to like just find the humor in it. It was definitely, I was like, it could be an outtake from like the Marley and Me movie. Was that the one with the with the dog that got into all the mischief? Oh, so well, such is life. <laughs> And thank God for the whoopsie daisy tool, that it wasn't a big cortisol, adrenaline, anger, negativity generator that it could have turned into. I had some of those feelings and I expressed them, and, but I was able to move through them pretty quickly and 
find the other place um, because of that practice with the whoopsie daisy tools and the baseline of the dose chemistry in my brain being higher, the dopamine, oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. Um, yeah. And, and sometimes things like that happen and it may not be for a day or two later before I can really laugh at it. And that's okay too. It's just keeping trying to, to loosen up, loosen up the, the tension and the intensity of the negativity, you know, feel it, have it. Absolutely. You know, that's all feelings are good. Just, we don't want to wear them like a cloak and become our identity and become the way we create dominant chemistry in our brain you know, with cortisol, adrenaline, norepinephrine. No, thanks. Don't want those running the show. Um, I hope, I hope these were some examples that were at least mildly entertaining and might give you some ideas of how you might use whoopsie daisy stories in your life. So let's take three gentle solidarity breaths. Hmm. Thank you. May today surprise and delight us. And I'll see y'all again tomorrow.